Now I'm going to show you this big, beautiful brain from the lateral view. This is the lateral view of the brain. And uh, if you look at the inferior view, this is the inferior view. And at the front, you can see the frontal lobe. At the back here, we have the occipital lobe. Laterally, you can see the temporal lobe. If you could take it up, you can see the parietal lobe from the superior view. This is the parietal lobe from the superior view. So in the middle, you can see this uh, brain stem. This white color represents the brain stem. At the back of the brain stem, you can see this um, cerebellum. This is the cerebellum right and left hemispheres of the cerebellum. So now I'm going to show you different structures within the brain. So I'm going to take the cerebellum and brain stem out and then show you take the one hemisphere so you can see the other hemisphere in the anatomical position. So I'm going to take it So this is the medial view of the hemisphere. So uh, here we have the frontal lobe, occipital, parietal, and this one would be the temporal lobe. So this is inferior view, medial view. So medially you can see this white color. So it represents the corpus callosum. Corpus callosum is connecting the right hemisphere to the left hemisphere. This is the corpus callosum. Just below the corpus callosum, you can find the uh, septum placidum. Septum means wall. It acts like a wall separating right hemisphere from the left, uh, not hemisphere, right uh, lateral ventricle from the left lateral ventricle. Just below the septum placidum and corpus callosum, you can see part of the fornix. This is part of the fornix, not whole fornix. This is the fornix. Corpus callosum, septum placidum, fornix. And down here, you can see this oval-shaped structure here. This oval-shaped structure is thalamus. Just below the thalamus anteriorly, you can see this triangular-shaped structure. It's called hypothalamus. Hypo means underneath, beneath. So underneath the thalamus, we have hypothalamus. So, and down here we have the uh, midbrain. So if you put the midbrain back into the place, so yeah, this is the midbrain. This is the midbrain. Now, you can see the medial view of the brain. So just above the corpus callosum, here we have the cingulate gyrus. This is called the cingulate gyrus. Mm, you can see it's uh, taken a horizontal section. So I'm going to take it out to show you the inside. This is the cortex, and this white color represents the medulla. Cortex is gray matter, medulla is white matter. So if you look at here, this space is lateral ventricle. This is a lateral ventricle. So as I show you, this is septum placidum. So septum placidum separating right and left lateral ventricles. So I'm going to take it out, go a little bit down, and see the inside. So if you look at here, just look at the medial side first. So on the medial side, we have thalamus. And here you can see hypothalamus. So it helps you if you are looking at from the medial side and then see what we have underneath the thalamus. So the nuclei, different nuclei of the thalamus. These brown structures, one, two, three, four. They are different nuclei. This is nucleus, 
core nuclei of the thalamus. And just lateral to the thalamus, we have basal ganglia, basal ganglia or basal nuclei. So we have these basal nuclei or basal ganglia. Just the most lateral structure is called the insular lobe. So insular lobe is the deepest lobe, is deep to the lateral fissure. So I'm going to show you the lateral fissure here. So this is the lateral fissure from the lateral view. It's separating the temporal lobe from the frontal and parietal lobe. Lateral fissure. So deep to the lateral fissure, we have insular lobe. So I can show you. This is a temporal lobe. Just immediately above the temporal lobe, we have lateral fissure. So deep to the lateral fissure, you can see the insular lobe. So I'm going to back to the medial view. This is the medial view. Here's the lateral view. In the medial view, you can see the thalamus. This is the thalamic nuclei. In the lateral view, you can find the lateral fissure. Deep to the lateral fissure, we have insula. Between the insular lobe, your insular cortex, and thalamic nuclei, you can find the uh, basal nuclei or basal ganglia. So these brown uh, structures, this one, so it looks like a line. So it's called the clostrum. Just deep to the clostrum, this pinky structure, the so pinky is called putamen. It's one of the basal nuclei. And just medial to the putamen, you can see globus pallidus. This is the globus pallidus. And here we have the uh, caudate nucleus. Caudate nucleus looks like a C-shaped nucleus. It's so close to the lateral ventricle. So lateral ventricle is a C-shape. It's following the lateral ventricle. If you find the lateral ventricle, just next to the lateral ventricle, we have a caudate nucleus. This is a caudate nucleus anteriorly and posteriorly. So caudate nucleus, uh, globus pallidus, putamen, clostrum, they are basal ganglia. Between the thalamic nuclei, caudate, uh, between the thalamic nuclei and globus pallidus, here we have this white color is called the internal capsule. So it's white because it allows the, um, the neurons, myelinated axons, uh, to pass down from the cortex to the brain stem and spinal cord finally. So this is internal capsule and this one is internal capsule as well. So it looks like an L-shaped structure, has upper limb, yeah, here is the upper limb and lower, mm, so it's better to say that the anterior limb and posterior limb. Anterior limb, posterior limb and genio. Genio means knee, knee shape, it's bending side. So anterior limb of the internal capsule separating the caudate from glues, pallidus, and putamen, and posterior limb of the internal capsule separating the glues, pallidus from the uh, thalamus.